There is another clash tonight in Orange County over masks. The county's mandatory face covering rule has been eased, but it doesn't mean you can't go without a mask just anywhere. Kick on is Leslie Marin with more. I like it. I feel more secure. For Ruben Galvin, wearing a mask is non-negotiable. That's because he works at a grocery store. It's only 20 minutes. I know you want it. It's like inconvenient for you, but like you make everyone feel better this doing it for 20 minutes. But the debate over masks just has not been that simple in Orange County. Fraud! It is a scam demic! It is a fraud demic! It is a pandemic! Today, anti mask protesters yelled, played music, and brought signs in an effort to drown out a gathering of mask supporters outside the Orange County Board of Supervisors meeting. The pro mask group was there to call on the Board of Supervisors to reinstate a policy that would make masks mandatory in public after the county's health officer dropped the requirement last week. We go to work every day to help those who need us. But reversal of the universal face mask policy puts health care workers at risk. But tonight in certain cities across the OC, we're learning face masks are still very much required. In Laguna Beach, the city recommends customers not wearing a face mask when entering an essential business should be refused service and asked to leave. Irvine and Costa Mesa also have stricter rules requiring people to wear masks at any business when they can't socially distance. Although Eric Hernandez was allowed inside this Costa Mesa pet coat without a mask today, he says he's not opposed to putting it on. There are certain places where I would definitely still wear a mask, such as the mall. Um, you know, big, large crowds of a bunch of people that I don't know. Tonight, a change.org petition is calling to keep masks mandatory here in Orange County. It already has over 30,000 signatures. Reporting in Costa Mesa, Leslie Marin, KCAL 9 News.